Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do capirotada. It's a traditional Mexican dessert. Most people use it during Cuaresma, which is Lent. We're going to start by toasting some pieces of bread. We cut them about an inch thick, inch and a half thick, and we put them to toast. Here are some of the ingredients that you're going to be needing. It's cinnamon, anise, cloves, piloncillo which is kind of like brown sugar, some peanuts, bananas, and coconut flakes. And to be honest, I took out those coconut flakes and completely forgot to add it to our little dessert. So you can add it or not add it. Either way, it tastes good. We're going to start by boiling some water in a pot. We're going to add our cinnamon sticks. And then we're going to start getting the piloncillo open. It has... It was pretty thick. It has about eight pieces, four on top and four on bottom, and we only used four of the pieces. We're going to add our four pieces to the water that is supposed to start boiling soon. And then to that, we're also going to add some anise and some cloves. And as you can see, a lot of the sugar has already dissolved because the water has turned dark this is what it's looking like after it's been boiling for a while we're going to start toasting our peanuts we added a little bit of oil and put the peanuts there and just make sure they don't burn then we're going to toast our bread with some vegetable oil the other bread that was in the beginning it was just toasted in the mini toaster they didn't have anything on them. These were adding some vegetable oil to give it a little bit of a flavor. Here we're getting our tortillas and we're adding lard to them. You're going to place them on the pot that you're going to use so your little breads don't get stuck when it's in the oven and it doesn't burn or whatever. Once the bottom of your pot is covered, we can start with our cheese we're going to use queso cotija and we're going to crumble it all up here are some other things that we will be needing it's raisins the peanuts the bread you're going to layer the bread on top of the tortillas we're also going to need bananas you're going to use we use two bananas for the little pot that we had and then some pecans, some dried apricots, and prunes. We're going to start by layering the bread on top of the tortillas. And then we're going to add some cheese to the tops of the breads. Mom has to make sure that every piece of bread got some cheese. We've seen many of the YouTube videos where other people have done them. And mom's like, oh, this one doesn't have this. This one doesn't have that. She's like, when I make it, every single piece of bread is going to have the same amount of everything. So now here she is adding the pecans. And she's trying to make sure that every piece of bread has a pecan. Because she says she wants all the bites to be semi-even. Then after the pecans, we're going to add the... What is she adding? Come on, lady. Oh, she's adding some of the syrup to the bread. You're going to soak your little breads. And that's what gives it like a little mushy consistency. Well, not mushy. It's kind of like a tres leches type of consistency. It's not completely mushy. Well, we're going to go back and start adding the little dried apricots. We add some to each piece of bread. After our apricots, we are going to start adding our prunes. You could use whatever dried fruits you want on this. These are the ones we chose. After the prunes, we started adding our sliced bananas. We added some to each piece of bread. I think she added two to each piece of bread. Honestly, I don't remember, but I think it was too. After your little bananas, you're going to start adding the raisins.
And here we are adding the raisins. You're going to add a generous amount to all your little pieces of bread. As you can see, we have a lot of little fruit toppings on each piece of bread. Everyone has something to nibble on. Now we're going to add more of the crumbled cheese. After the cheese, we're going to add some of the peanuts because she forgot to add them in the beginning like I told her. But anyways, then we are going to layer the bread on top of that and repeat the same process with all the little fruits and stuff. So it's kind of like a lasagna where you repeat the layers. Anyways. So you finish adding all the rest of your little toppings and this is what it's looking like. As you can see, all the little pieces of bread are covered with something. They have the fruits, they have the nuts, the pecans, the apricots, the prunes, raisins, the cheese. Then you seal everything off with some of that liquid. That way it doesn't, once it's in the oven, it doesn't like dry out. Here you can see where every piece of bread got that liquid, so it's like completely moist. That way right now when we put it in the oven, it won't dry out. You're going to put some foil paper and leave it in there for about an hour. After that, you take it out and this is what she's looking like. It looks really good. I'm really sorry I'm not good at describing the videos and doing these voiceovers. I Maybe next time I'll just add like the ingredients and do like step by steps with just words and not talk. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe and all those other things you guys do. If you want any other recipes, comment them down below.